everyone, it's Amber again, and I have a really fun project to share with you. I'm going to go ahead and create this on video and kind of um, talk you through it and do a tutorial. I'm going to be making an envelope flipbook. So I got these really pretty envelopes from Hobby Lobby, and they were 50% off. So I got the dark pink and the light pink, and these are super, like perfect for this project. You could totally make your own envelopes, but I really like that Hobby Lobby had these in all different colors, and I was able to get the ones for Valentine's Day in the pinks. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what these envelopes look like, and I'm going to pull out two of each because this flipbook is going to have four envelopes. So it's going to be really easy, and you could totally make these with any size envelope you have, but um, I'm choosing these just because I found them in like the perfect colors to go with the paper that I'm going to be using. So this is going to be kind of like a Valentine's project, but you can really make it your own with any paper, any style, any size envelope. So here are the envelopes. I have two of the light pink and two of the dark pink. So the first thing you're going to do is just get all your envelopes and open them up, like open up the flap, and you're going to take a scoreboard and place the envelope in with the bottom on the left side and the flap facing the right. So all you're going to do is you're going to look at the score line where the envelope naturally folds and you're going to score it one quarter inch away from that. So where it naturally folds, you're going to take it another quarter inch and score right there. And all that's going to do is give it like a quarter inch gusset. And this is going to be so when you fill the envelope with goodies, it's not going to um, obstruct the fold. It's going to actually give it more room for more goodies, and it's going to be more of a clean closure. So I'm trying to get a good, there you go. There's the quarter inch that you just created. So you're going to go ahead and do this with all of your envelopes. So now that you have all four envelopes scored, what you're going to do is you're going to take your em your next envelope, so line one up with the other, you're going to take the bottom of your envelope and line it up with the score line that you made, so it's the second score line. You're going to line the bottom of that envelope up with that score line and you're going to actually adhere it down to this flap. So I'm adding adhesive right at that score line, not over it because it has to fold, but right at it and then all over that flap to adhere the next envelope to connect it to um, the first envelope. So remember, take it and line it up at the score line that you made right at that score line and it's going to fit perfectly because your envelopes are the same size and just adhere that down and that's how you're attaching the envelopes together. So you're going to do this with all of your envelopes. So let's go ahead and do the next one. Find the score line that you made and you're going to connect your next envelope there. And I like to um, do dark pink, light pink, dark pink, light pink, but you can do it in any order you want. So I'm going to add adhesive again, like I said, to the um, right at that score line, add a bunch of adhesive to cover the entire flap because that's how your basically your book is going to be held together and don't worry about the fact that the flap is going to be showing on the other side because we're going to cover these all of these pages with a really pretty scrapbook paper so go ahead and do that and, and, and connect all of your envelopes this way Okay, so here is the base of our flip book and see how it has that quarter inch gusset. So it's kind of like a book. It's actually like a book. It's not folded. 
um, like a card, it's more folded like a book. So I really like this process and I've been so inspired by so many people on YouTube. I mean, you could just like type in envelope flip books and there's so many different variations. So this is my favorite. The next thing you're going to want to do is measure your envelope because all envelopes are going to be different. You're not necessarily going to have the same size as me. So mine happened to measure five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So that means I'm going to cut my paper five by seven to leave a quarter inch border all the way around. And so I'm going to go ahead and put my little flipbook base aside and get out my paper collection that I'm going to be using, which is the one you've seen already on my channel, the Hello Sweetheart. I am so excited to use this because I really want to use this up. I've used it on a couple of other projects and I just adore this paper. It's so pretty. There's so many cute cutouts and stickers and just different elements. So I'm going to go through this and pick out the papers that I'm going to use and I'm going to cut eight pieces down to a five by seven. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my flip book and I'm going to decide which one I want for my cover and I want this really pretty floral page for the cover. Now the cover isn't where you think, you're going to have to flip it, your book open so you can kind of see how it folds closed so you can see which panel is your cover and it's going to be like the third or fourth panel, I can't remember. But it's, you're going to have to close your flip book all up to see where the cover is. And then just kind of figure out where you want your other pages and what order you're going to like kind of gloom down. You don't want the same one to be next to, you know, the same exact page when you flip it open. So just go ahead and arrange that and figure that out and then you're going to glue these down. Okay, so this is the inside of my flip book where all the pockets are. And I've kind of got these laid out the way I want them. And I'm going to do one thing here before I glue these down. I'm actually going to cut an inch off of the five inch side of these because I want the pocket to be more exposed and I'm going to actually show you how I do that and I'm going to show you how I glue it down so that way you don't obstruct the pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and cut one inch off of each of these sheets. Okay, so to glue these down, I'm going to glue only the left side and the middle and then both ends. So as you see, I did the left side, the both ends, and I'm going to glue down the middle. And I'm going to leave about an inch to a half, like about a half of an inch on the right side that has no glue. Because that's going to go down a little bit over your pink area, if you will, on the envelope. And you don't want to obstruct the pocket like I was saying. So I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm going to glue that down and the right side has no adhesive on it. So that way you can fit things in the pocket. So now that it's glued down, I'm going to show you how it's not obstructing the pocket since we only glue the three sides and the middle. So see, the pocket is perfectly open for goodies to be slipped in there. So that's what I'm going to do for all the rest of these pages. We'll do one more here. Um, in regular speed and then I'll speed up the other two but see how I'm doing it on the left side the top the bottom and then all down the middle and 
Envelopes aren't perfect, so all of them aren't the exact same size, but I leave about an, a half an inch to an inch there on the right side, just in case, because I don't want that pocket to be obstructed. So I hope you understand, and that kind of makes sense. See, there you go, the pocket's nice and open, and um, you've got that pretty border around it with the envelope showing, and you can fit plenty of goodies in there. So now it's time to cover the other side and these panels you are going to leave the paper at the full five by seven that I that I cut in the first place so you're not going to cut an inch off of those so I just wanted to make sure again where my cover was because I kept forgetting and I want to use that pretty floral valentine paper there and then just kind of arrange your other ones you know the way you want them but this part is super easy you're just going to go ahead and cover all four panels So as you can see, I ran out of ATG on that last swipe down. I had enough to cover it though. And um, now we have the base of our flip book. So the next thing I want to do is cover the little flap and decorate that with some paper. So I'm actually gonna do both sides. And how I do this is I just go ahead and put a piece of paper down that I want to cover it. And I'm gonna actually trace it out with a pencil and then just cut it out. So. I'm going to do this for both sides and I'm going to go ahead and cover that cute little flap. So there it is you guys it's all covered isn't it so cute let's do a little flip through of our covered pages so the inside has four pockets ready to be filled with letters and goodies and then the outside are ready to be decorated so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this here with you guys on camera but I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up set it to music because this part is totally your free reign to do whatever you want there's no rules and I want to use as much of the paper collection that I can and I also have some goodies that I want to include so I'm just going to go through this kind of go through my stash and fill this up for my pen pal I hope you enjoy
so there it is. The last thing I have to do is just write my letter to my pen pal and stick it in one of the pockets. But this is my completed pen pal envelope flip book. And I'm going to do a little quick flip through right now to show you um, the finished product here. So as you can see, I did a, just a simple twine closure. You can use seam binding, and actually I might change that out for seam binding, but you can really do anything for the closure. And the cover I just did simply here with some um, of the paper and stuff in my stash. Here I made a little quick pocket with washi tape and one of the journal cards, and I just included two of the cute little cut aparts in there. And I love that washi tape, I got it at Hobby Lobby. Then here I did one of my heart pockets and I absolutely love making these. I did a little um, tutorial on my Instagram on how to make those and then of course here on video I just showed you quickly how to do it. Um, follow me on Instagram if you aren't already and again that's where I did the little quick tutorial today on these and it's also saved in my highlighted stories on my Instagram. So. But again, we, you saw how I created it here. So here I just kind of came up with this little strip of hearts. It kind of reminds me of those, like when people sew the little shapes to a strip. I just didn't, I don't have a sewing machine or anything, so I just used my tiny attacher and I like the look of it. And I included doilies in that pocket. And then over here, of course, I included my favorite over the moon for you and then the star washi tape. That's my favorite with those stickers inside the pocket. And here I included some of the cut aparts from the collection. I'll probably end up sticking a few more paper samples in that pocket as well because I really want to use this paper up and I'll also stick my letter somewhere. So there is the envelope flip book. It was so easy. You can use any size envelope for this. You can make your own envelopes, but I just really enjoyed making this and I'm so glad that you guys stuck around to watch the tutorial. And I just want to thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, I hope you stick around and subscribe if you haven't already. And I want to thank all of those of you that have already subscribed and have been watching my videos. It means so much to me. Thank you so much. I do have another project that is coming up next, and I'm really excited about it. It's super simple, and I think you're going to like it. So again, thanks everyone for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye!